African Americans are some of the most influential people in history. From the music they've produced, the laws they've changed, down to the way they dress, the influence of black people in America and abroad is undeniable. Here is our list of 10 of the most influential African Americans of all time. You may be shocked at who we put at number one. Number 10. Oprah. Oprah Winfrey may be known to the world as the first black female billionaire, but her handing out free cars isn't the only reason her influence spreads around the globe. Some are inspired by her resilience and courage. Growing up, Oprah Winfrey was so poor that she literally wore potato sacks that were sewn together by her grandmother, but her economic status did not prevent her from striving for excellence. By the end of high school, Miss Winfrey had earned statewide academic awards for her participation on the oratory team and even won a beauty contest for Miss Black Teen. Oprah's victory at the pageant caught the attention of a local radio station. Her impressive resume earned her a full scholarship to one of the nation's historically black colleges, Tennessee State University. While she was still in college, Oprah became not only the first black female on-screen news anchor in Tennessee, but also the youngest. In 1984, Oprah was hired as a replacement for one of the lowest rated TV shows in Chicago. By the end of the year, the show was expanded to a full hour, rated the number one show, and renamed the Oprah Winfrey Show. The Oprah Winfrey Show would dominate daytime television for almost 30 years, and she was paid potato sack sizes of money for it, earning upwards to $300 million a year. She was declared a billionaire before her 50th birthday. Oprah's influence touches multiple industries and countries. Oprah has launched the careers of personalities like Dr. Oz, Dr. Phil, Elena Van Zandt, and of course, her best friend, Gail King. Books that have been featured on Oprah's book club often go to sell millions of copies on their way to become New York Times bestsellers. Oprah even opened her own school in South Africa, the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy, a girls only boarding school that features a yoga studio, two theaters, and a hair salon. Oprah Winfrey has inspired women and men everywhere to follow her footsteps. Her story and accomplishments show what could happen with hard work, dedication, faith, and a vision. The next person on our list stood on the front lines fighting for human rights. Number 9. John Lewis John Lewis was a towering figure in the American Civil Rights Movement. His impact isn't discussed as much as figures like MLK, Malcolm X, and others, but his strength to carry his beliefs with him into a long-term tenure as a U.S. Senator is what landed him on our list. Born on February 21, 1940, in Troy, Alabama, Lewis experienced the harsh realities of racial segregation and discrimination from an early age. Lewis's journey into activism began with his involvement in the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee in the early 1960s. Lewis was one of the original freedom fighters, challenging segregated interstate travel. His unwavering commitment to nonviolent resistance became a hallmark of his activism, earning him the nickname The Boy from Troy. March 7, 1965, Mr. Lewis' efforts were etched into history the day he led 600 protesters on what was supposed to be a 54-mile march into the state capital of Alabama. The march was in response to the lack of voting rights of black people in the Jim Crow South. However, as the peaceful protest crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama, they were met with brute force from Alabama state troopers. The violent attack left Mr. Lewis with a fractured skull. The assault on the protesters in total left 26 shot, of which 14 died. This day became known as Bloody Sunday. However, those fighters did not die in vain as ultimately the Voting Rights Act of 1965 was passed. It became a landmark piece of legislation that dismantled barriers preventing African Americans from exercising their right to vote, and it made John Lewis a hero. In 1986, he transitioned from grassroots organizing to legislative work when he was elected to represent Georgia's 5th Congressional District, a position he held until his passing in 2020. As the conscience of the Congress, Lewis continued his fight for justice within the system, advocating for civil rights, health care, and gun control. His voice echoed through the halls of the Capitol as he passionately spoke out against injustice, inequality, and discrimination. Lewis's life serves as a testament to the enduring power of moral courage and the belief that, in the words of his mentor Martin Luther King Jr., the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. At number 8, Thomas Sowell. Many would call Thomas Sowell a lot of things, but one thing you can't deny is his impact. Mr. Sowell got a taste of every walk of life early. Born in the Jim Crow South of North Carolina, raised in Harlem. Because of impoverished conditions, Mr. Sowell dropped out of high school and enlisted into the Marine Corps, which led to night classes at Howard University, and he eventually graduated from Harvard Magna Cum Laude. Mr. Sowell was able to experience racism and segregation, bear witness to black affluence, and get a close examination of the society at large. Through 
this diverse upbringing and key eye for the truth laid the foundation for his philosophies. Many would describe his views on social movements as conservative, even though he was a registered Democrat. Although he witnessed the crimes and violations of racism and segregation, Mr. Sowell was not a fan of affirmative or government-assistant programs like welfare. He often voiced his opposition to black people's dependence on anyone but themselves. Mr. Sowell's biggest influence has come through his teachings and views on economics. He doesn't believe in dependence, but rather a free marketplace. Mr. Sowell believed that the only way black people could rise out of economic deprivation was by non-government interference. His studies included an opposition to minimum wage laws. Mr. Sowell believed if you put a minimum wage requirement on the workforce, you contribute to unemployment. With over 45 books, Thomas Sowell's influence of economics, politics, and the world live on for years to come. The next person on our list is so influential that people forgot she has a famous husband. Number 7. Beyonce, a global icon, the most Grammy wins ever, none other than the queen, Beyonce. Born on September 4, 1981, in Houston, Texas, Beyonce's career journey began as a member of Destiny's Child. However, it was her solo career that catapulted her into superstardom and solidified her status as one of the most influential artists of her generation. Beyonce paved her own way by empowering women all over the world both in her music and public persona. She's always encouraged women to be nothing less than a queen. Songs like Single Ladies, Put a Ring On It, and Run the World Girls became anthems for encouraging women to be confident, embody strength, and be proud of their femininity. Mrs. Knowles Carter addressed themes of race, infidelity, feminism, and the black experience in America as she saw it with her record-breaking album, Lemonade. Beyonce leveraged her queendom into fashion, acting, and entrepreneurship. Beyonce has shaped trends and set standards for elegant and innovation. Her Ivy Park collaboration with Adidas not only showcased her influence in the athletic wear market, but also emphasized the importance of inclusivity and body positivity. Beyond her individual achievements, Beyonce is a proud mother and wife, often collaborating with her husband, Jay-Z, or performing with her oldest daughter, Blue Ivy. The queen keeps family number one. Through her artistry, Beyonce has challenged societal norms, empowered marginalized communities, and set new standards for excellence in the entertainment industry. Her impact is not only measured in record sales and awards, but also in the way she has inspired and uplifted individuals around the world, leaving an enduring legacy that transcends generations. At number six, Kanye West. There's very few people on this list that evoke an emotion from everyone, but whether you love him or hate him, you definitely feel some way about Mr. West. Kanye West has evolved from a celebrated producer to an innovative, yet sometimes controversial figure whose impact extends beyond the boundaries of music. Kanye's early contributions to the cultural zeitgeist came via his unique style of hip-hop production. His sped-up and chopped soul samples play a pivotal role in reshaping rap music. However, it was his hunger for more that really made us fall in love with Mr. West. His debut album, The College Dropout, released in 2004, not only marked the beginning of his successful solo career, but also challenged traditional hip-hop norms with its introspective and socially conscious themes. Kanye's ability to express his conflicts of being black, self-conscious, vulnerable, but also unapologetically himself sparked a whole generation. Kanye's foray into fashion design has disrupted traditional norms and elevated streetwear to high fashion status. From the start, popularizing backpacks, pink polos, and retro Jordans. The kid from the shy was paving his own lane. As he evolved, he began to put the same intense focus he used in music into fashion. The Yeezy brand's success had demonstrated Ye's ability to transcend music and impact global fashion trends, making him a formidable force in the intersection of music and style. But of course, Mr. West is not without controversy. His outspoken nature and headline-grabbing moments, both on and off the stage, have fueled polarizing opinions. From calling out President Bush on his response to Hurricane Katrina, to being called a mule of sorts by President Obama, Kanye has been a lightning rod for discussions on fame, mental health, and the price of creativity. Kanye West's ventures have expanded beyond music and fashion. Over the years, Mr. West has openly spoken out against the prison industrial complex, and in 2021, put on a concert in an effort to free former gang leader Larry Hoover. In 2022, Ye also opened his own school, Donda Academy. Ye's cultural impact is a complex tapestry woven with musical innovation, fashion disruption, and a willingness to challenge societal norms. His influence on the music can be felt in artists like Drake and Travis Scott. His impact on fashion and cultural trends is inescapable. While controversies surround him, you may not love Kanye the way Kanye loves Kanye, but you feel him one way or another. 
The next person on our list is rumored to be the first woman to put on American currency. At number 5, Harriet Tubman. There is no person that more encapsulates the spirit of black people more than Harriet Tubman. Her life and achievements have inspired many to be defiant and take control of their destinies. Born into slavery around 1822, young Harriet showed signs of resistance, leadership, and courage early. At just six years old, she was assigned to be a nurse. Her duties included assisting the head nurse and caring for the baby of the house. However, whenever the baby cried, young Harriet was severely punished for it, receiving brutal lashes across her back. To protect herself, young Harriet would wear extra layers, run away for days, and even fought back. Her adolescent years proved to be even more trying. After being sent to another plantation, she was assigned to backbreaking fieldwork, like clearing muskrat traps driving oxen, plowing fields, and hauling tree logs. During these years, Mrs. Tubman took a blow to the head that nearly killed her. While another slave was trying to escape, she was struck in the head by a two-pound metal weight. Bleeding and concussed, Mrs. Tubman was only taken off the field for two days. The traumatic blow led to continuous severe headaches, blurred sight, and seizures. She would later be quoted as saying, It broke my skull. It also led to her calling. After the incident, she began to have visions and vivid dreams that she deemed were sent by God. These mystical inspirations became the fuel that would power the feats of the new Moses. In her late 20s, after a failed attempt by her owner to sell her and her brothers, Mrs. Tubman planned and executed her escape. Her escape from rural Maryland was a harrowing one that took her northeast through Delaware and up to Philadelphia. She traversed at night to avoid slave catchers, guided by nothing but the North Star. In total, the journey was almost 100 miles by foot. This route was a part of a network of secret pathways known as the Underground Railroad. In Philadelphia, Mrs. Tubman was free, but she refused to let her family and friends suffer in bondage and indefinite servitude. So, from 1851 to 1862, using the Underground Railroad, Mrs. Tubman helped over 100 black people escape the horrors of slavery. Till this day, Harriet Tubman inspires many and stands as an example of determination and will. In 2016, it was announced that Mrs. Harriet Tubman would replace former president and slave owner Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. Number 4. The Obamas Where were you in 2008? If you were black and living in America, you were witnessing history when a senator from Illinois became the first black president of the United States of America. Former President Barack and former First Lady Michelle Obama have had a profound cultural impact that extends far beyond their time in the White House. Their legacy is marked by a commitment to inclusivity, diversity, and social change making them influential figures in shaping the cultural landscape of the 21st century. Michelle Obama, with her mantra, when they go low, we go high, became a symbol of grace, intelligence, and resilience during her tenure as First Lady from 2009 to 2017. Her focus on education and health through initiatives like Let's Move showcased a dedication to social issues. Beyond policy, Michelle's impact on culture was evident in her advocacy for women's rights and her emphasis on the importance of education for all, inspiring a new generation to strive for excellence and break down barriers. Barack Obama, as the 44th president, made history by being the first African American to hold the highest office in the land. His presidency was marked by a message of hope and change resonating with a diverse and hopeful electorate. Obama's cultural impact was substantial as he addressed issues of racial inequality, health care, and climate change. His eloquent speeches and calm demeanor provided a stark contrast to the political climate of the time, influencing a sense of unity and civic engagement. Together, the Obamas redefined the image of America's first family, reflecting a more diverse and inclusive America. Their cultural impact extended beyond politics. From Barack's love for rap music and sports to Michelle's keen fashion sense, the Obamas related to people in ways never before seen by a first family. The burden of leadership definitely took a toll on the Obamas, but they continued to keep a pulse on the culture post-presidency, especially Mrs. Obama. Michelle's memoir, Becoming, became a bestseller, offering readers insights into her personal journey and inspiring individuals to overcome challenges. It even led to an American sold-out tour to celebrate the new author. Together, they launched their own production company, Higher Ground, in 2018. To date, they have released 17 projects that have featured stars like Kevin Hart, Julia Roberts, and Mahir Shala Ali. The cultural impact of Michelle and Barack Obama is immeasurable. Their legacy goes beyond political achievements, shaping the way society views leadership, diversity, and the potential for positive change. Their enduring influence continues to resonate, reminding us of the transformative power of leadership grounded in empathy, integrity, and a commitment to justice. At number three, Malcolm X. 
Malcolm X was one of the most feared men in America. It wasn't through violence or brute strength that he commanded power, but rather his intellect, charisma, and discipline that inspired and still influences many till this day. His story starts a long way from Harlem. Born Malcolm Little in Omaha, Nebraska, his parents were both believers in pan-Africanism and black self-reliance. If you know Malcolm's story, you'd already know being an outspoken leader among his people was in his blood. Malcolm's father, Earl Little, was himself brazen when he came to speaking out against injustice. Maybe ominously, Earl Little was also violently murdered, allegedly by a white supremacist organization. Even though Malcolm Little grew up in a Garveyite-inspired household, his path back to black self-reliance would be a winding road littered with violence, drugs, and a six-year prison sentence. If you've been influenced by any of the people on our list thus far, hit that subscribe button. His prison sentence of 10 years for robbery and gun charges was reduced to six when he was released on parole. While in prison, Malcolm Little denounced his ways that led him to prison and converted to Islam. In prison, it is also where he was introduced to the Nation of Islam and the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. After his release from prison in 1952, Malcolm officially became a member of the Nation of Islam and changed his last name from Little to X. By the mid-1950s, the man formerly known on the streets as Detroit Red was arguably the most feared black man in America. Just like his father, he became a brazen, outspoken advocate of black excellence and self-reliance, but on a national scale. Malcolm was given leadership roles within the NOI, becoming an amplified voice of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You could find him at town halls throughout the country or in newspapers and television programs. He fought against the violence and racism against blacks with his words, often encouraging black people to stand up for themselves, to fight back, and love themselves. When Malcolm initially joined the nation, membership stood at about 400, but by the turn of the decade, Decade, membership was over 40,000. Malcolm X's impact goes beyond his work with the nation. After disputes and turmoil, he was ousted from the nation. During this time, he began to lay the groundwork to bring the plight of black people in America to the United Nations. Malcolm also began to evolve his thinking of all people after he made a pilgrimage to Mecca. Malcolm never made it to the steps of the UN. It wasn't his physicality that made him one of the most influential people ever. It was his words that made him dangerous. It was his words that people loved and feared, and his words and impact will live forever. At number two, Martin Luther King Jr. It's truly difficult to quantify the influence of Martin Luther King Jr. His impact spreads across multiple intersections of race, humanity, and politics. Born in Atlanta, Georgia, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was bred for leadership at an early age. The son and grandson of a pastor, Dr. King, eventually took on the mantle of pastor when he was only 25 years old. His legacy is often talked about through the lens of peace and nonviolence, but it took some time to tame his emotions. As an adolescent, MLK would often reject the segregationist tactics of the Jim Crow South. He was known for his peaceful role during the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott, but in 1944, he too was confronted while riding the bus. While riding home on the bus, a young Martin was chastised by the bus driver, called a derogatory word for refusing to stand. The situation almost escalated into a physical altercation until Martin's teacher convinced him to consider the consequences. King would later say, that night will never leave my memory. It was the angriest I have ever been in my life. Dr. King's commitment to nonviolence fueled his leadership tactics during the civil rights movement. He led various peaceful protests, marches, and boycotts to bring attention to systematic racial injustice. King's philosophy of nonviolence inspired countless individuals to join the civil rights movement and sparked a wave of social and legislative changes. Dr. King was a masterful orator. His powerful, soothing voice invoked many to follow. Nothing cemented his power as a speaker more than his famous I Have a Dream speech. During the 1963 March on Washington, Dr. King captivated a a crowd of 250,000 with his vision of a better world. His speech punctuated a historical event that pressured the government to initiate strong civil rights bills. A year later, in 1964, the administration of John F. Kennedy passed the Civil Rights Act. That same year, the world was introduced to Martin Luther King Jr. when he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. His tireless efforts in combating racial inequality made him one of the most influential people in the world. Despite facing numerous threats and acts of violence, King remained steadfast in his pursuit of justice. He also played a crucial role in the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s tactics of nonviolence protests and remarkable speeches may be what most people will remember him for, but his pursuit of education, family, family, and equality continues to resonate for millions worldwide. The next person on our list quit his job twice. At number one, Michael Jordan. 
in 1984, the NBA was a faltering league. Even with stars like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and Dr. J, professional basketball was considered a second-tier event in American sports. So much so that the NBA Finals weren't even played on live television. That all changed when a shooting guard from the University of North Carolina changed everything. Michael Jordan took not only the NBA, but the sport as a whole to a whole nother level. With his tongue wagging swagger and his swinging gold chains, it was his fashion sense that first took hold of the culture. With his very first shoe, the Jordan 1s, he rocked the world and the rules. Because of the colorway of his shoes, the league banned MJ's first signature shoe, but in an act of defiance, he wore them anyway, and Nike paid the fine. For the next two decades, Air Jordans ruled not only basketball courts, but schoolyards, weddings, and red carpets. His royal airness hasn't suited up for a game in two decades, but kids all over the world still rush to get the latest Air Jordan release. Everything from his patented number 23 to his bald head down to the way he chewed gum, everyone wanted to be like Mike. His nightly highlights were reenacted the next day on blacktops. To get number 23 on your team meant that you were the best player on your squad. The six-time NBA champion style of play revolutionized a modern athlete. Every general manager would risk their careers on finding the next MJ. But there was only one. Michael Jordan's business savvy and star power showed companies that he was more than just an athlete. Because of his dealings, he inspired future stars to recognize the power of their likeness, paving the way for equity partnerships, which was unheard of before him. By the time Michael Jordan finally retired in 2003, the NBA had become a multi-billion dollar global sport. In 2023 alone, the Jordan brand grossed over $5 billion. Till this day, men and women all over the world still want to be like Mike. Who did we miss? Let us know who you'd like to see make our next list. Comment below.